All right, we're now going to run through a workflow. I'm going to be a volunteer examiner. I've got Jeremy and Sarah as two other volunteer examiners in this fully remote exam environment with me. So they're all sitting in the same uh, video conferencing room with me. Um, on the right side of my screen, we've got a candidate uh, who's going to log into the session. And they're going to use the session call sign and the candidate pin that they had uh, selected. So now this candidate would be waiting to join the session. So on my volunteer examiner screen, I can see that there's now a request for this candidate to join the session. In this case, I'm actually going to reject it to show you what that looks like. And you can see that the candidate actually got click kicked out of the session. So they'd actually have to log in again. Um, and this is uh, just a way to show what that workflow looks like. So now I'm going to have Jeremy authorize this. So he's logged in from his computer um, and would allow the candidate into the session. Now you can see the candidate is in the session and they could start, the, they can ask to start the exam, um, but they don't have any volunteer examiners assigned yet. So in this environment, what I would do is I would ask my volunteer examiners who are in this room with me, uh, Jeremy and Sarah, if you could please add yourselves as VEs and I'll go ahead and add myself as a VE as well to this session. Right? You can see that they both did that. And now we have this candidate in progress who's signed in um, with myself. And once Sarah adds herself as well, then we'll have um, three volunteer examiners on this candidate. Uh, you can see here on the left, the candidate's icon is purple, showing that they're currently logged in and active on the session. And this candidate is the one that already passed earlier, and they're now disconnected. So they're no longer part of that session. So we have all three volunteer examiners now. Looks like all three of us are assigned to this candidate. So the candidate can request to start the technician exam. At this point, again, you'll see that request to start exam. And any one of the three volunteer examiners that's um, here for this candidate might be the ones to start it. So in this case, we'll have Sarah actually go ahead and authorize that exam. So from her computer, she can go in and authorize this candidate to start their exam. Now you can see the candidate has changed to blue status here with the element two exam in progress. And then the candidate screen goes to the actual exam that they'll be running. Okay, at this point, the candidate has finished the exam and then they can ask for one of the volunteer examiners that's in this room to authorize it. Again, you'll see the red uh, status here requesting some action for this examinee. So we'll have Jeremy go ahead and um, authorize this exam to get graded. So that'd be one of the other volunteer examiners in the room is going to log in, enter their password, and then show you that the candidate got their score on the exam. So in this case, our candidate got a 34 out of 35, and they can go ahead and finish and sign their forms. So again, they'll get the screen here with their name and their location, and they can review the actual 605 form, um, just the upper portion of the 605 form, and the CSCE form as well, which will show um, the actual uh, draft of that before it's been signed by everyone else. So we're gonna go ahead and sign this for our candidate named Mr. Antenna. And they'll sign these documents. And at this point, this will finish them in the session. So again, you can see this red icon here requesting signatures to be added. So at this point, uh, the three volunteer examiners that are assigned to this candidate will go ahead and do that. So uh, Jeremy and Sarah will do that from their screen and I'll go here and do this as though I'm Chris. Um, and again, you can use the saved password. You can use the saved signature here um, for the VE. Um, or you can use a new signature, uh, depending on what you like. If you're in an in-person exam session, again, you could sign for one of the other uh, VEs. Uh, the VE can come sign using your computer um, and do that as well. So once this candidate has all three signatures completed, then this will change from a red icon to a green one, showing that that the candidate is all complete. And they can log out at this point as well, because um, they're um, complete in the session. So once they've logged out, you can see that this changes to a disconnected status as well. And this candidate now has three completed signatures that you can confirm all three VEs have signed, and this candidate's ready to go.